patrol officers are urging folks in the Temecula area to be wary of aggressive coyotes. On Friday morning, a 16-month-old deer chihuahua was attacked by a coyote and saved by the owner. The dog, Lola, has suffered punctures, uh, injured ribs, uh, but she is recuperating. Ordinarily, I would probably let the dog out and maybe go to the restroom or go run an errand or go out in the garage or something. And thank God I didn't that day because I let her out and I went over to get my shoes tied right by the couch, tied my shoe and I heard the yelps and there she was. It was, I don't think it was, it was seconds, seconds before she was in the jaws of that dog, uh, coyote. But it's a horrible thing. I don't, I don't wish that on anybody to see that. I don't know if I'll ever get over it. Now when I see a baby, a child, I get that feeling, you know, like when you look over a building and you're too high up, that feeling you get, and I feel compelled to tell them, don't leave your baby outside. It's not something I would want anybody to experience. They need to pay, it. They need to pay attention. They need to be diligent. And I was told basically that if we would just, uh, when you see a coyote, don't just say, oh yeah, there's a coyote. Do something to scare them so that they get scared of us again because now they're, they're not afraid. And so the more that we haze them, the more that we get after them, the more that we upset them and throw things at them, you know, hose them, do whatever, they're going to start getting afraid of us again. We're being too complacent. We're, we're just accepting that they're there and we need to get them to understand that we are something to be afraid of and that they'll go back and stay away from us. If we do this enough, they'll stay away. This is Aaron Clavery reporting for the Press Enterprise.